Jeannie and Ron here with Rooted in Love Urban Homestead. So today we're going to talk about testing our soil and we're going to walk you through how to do that. And Ron, why is it important to test your soil? Well, your soil needs all the nutrients in it that your plants use to grow. Uh, it's the NPK, nitrogen, uh, potassium, uh, potash, and we're also going to test the pH of the soil. Uh, to see what that looks like. Our bed in the backyard last year did not grow hardly anything mm -hmm. except for okra. Yeah, it loved the okra. Uh, and so I'm testing the soil to see what it needs in order to grow some vegetables. Great. So we're going to walk you step by step through how to do that. So today we're testing our soil. I'm using this rapid test uh, soil testing kit and uh, there's a lot of videos out there already on, on uh, reviewing this and how it works and all that. We're just going to go through the testing part. Uh, the first thing I did was I got a soil sample out of my bed in the backyard. It's one cup of soil and five cups of water. Uh, you have to dig down five, four or five inches to get your soil sample and I got a few little bits out of different parts of the bed and equaled one cup and put it in here with five cups of water and that's been sitting for at least a couple of days it says to let it sit for at least 24 hours or until the soil settles and this is settled as good as it's going to get so we're going to go ahead with the testing use this test water for the NPK the pH test, which I'm going to do first, you use distilled water. And I have some distilled water here that I'm going to use uh, to test the pH. So for the pH test, uh, I've got a little soil sample out of our bed. You fill it up to the little line. It's not much. It's just a little pinch. So I have my soil sample in here for the pH test. I'm going to take the contents of the green chemical pill. If I can get it apart, I thought I had it. And we're going to dump that in here. And then we're going to fill it up with the distilled water. Up to the line, okay. And then we're going to cover it up, put the lid on, and then we're going to shake it, shake thoroughly, allow the soil to settle. Um, I've measured my bed, it's six feet by six and a half feet, which equals 39 square feet, and we'll have to know that for how much uh, fertilizer or, or uh, uh, lime or whatever to put in the raised bed. So my soil is settled. You know, I'm get in on this. It's settled pretty well. So we want to match this color to this over here. It's somewhere in between the 6.5 and 7. It's not as green as the 7 and it's not as yellow as the 6.5. I'm going to say we have around 6.5 to 7. So that what does that mean we have to do to the soil? Anything? Well I have to look at uh, what the pH should be which I haven't done yet. I think I think we're okay on the pH. So looking at our pH reference list uh, we're growing vegetables let's see Looking on here, it looks like most of the vegetables are between six to seven and a half. So I think uh, we're pretty good here. We're somewhere around six and a half to close to seven. So I think our pH is good. So the first test I'm going to do is, uh, let's do nitrogen first. And that's the purple container. So I'm going to fill up the container with our water sample with our soil mixture. Try to get 
try not to get any of the sediment. Okay. I'm going to take the purple chemical. Dump it in. Try not to spill it. Put the lid on and we're going to shake it up. Shake thoroughly. It says to allow the color to develop for 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, all of these at one time. So the samples have been sitting for 10 minutes and Ron, what's our results? Well, the results are our nitrogen doesn't look purple at all. So I'm going to say it's depleted. That's the worst it can be. <laughs> it's even lighter than that. Yeah. Uh, our P test, uh, it's pretty much depleted. It's somewhere in between depleted and deficient. And our K test, um, I'm going to say it's depleted as well. It's somewhere in there. So the bottom line is I'm going to have to treat our bed with all of these nutrients in order to get them to grow vegetables the way we want. So Ron, we better get to work. That's right. I'm going to have to go buy some fertilizer. <laughs> May all you do be rooted in love. See ya.